Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you latest news about Citizenship not nationality existing law is set out in the British Nationality Act 1981. This should be replaced with a new British Citizenship Act. The word, citizenship, is a resonant one imbued with more meaning than mere nationality. Citizenship is about rights, responsibilities, belonging and participation. Nationality is merely a formal status. A reforming Labour government could take the opportunity to formally attach rights to citizenship for the first time. Gordon Brown's recent constitutional reform paper proposes exactly this type of reform. There should be new constitutionally protected social rights like the right to health care for all based on need, not ability to pay, that reflect the current shared understanding of the minimum standards and public services that a British citizen should be guaranteed. There is no need to stop there. The right to vote, the right of entry and residence, the right to a fair trial, the right to diplomatic assistance and the right to equal treatment free from discrimination could all be explicitly protected through citizenship. The old statutory right for citizens to be joined by family members, abolished only in 1988, could be restored. At the moment, British citizens are treated the same as settled migrants when it comes to their right to family life. This would also encourage settled migrants to fully integrate as equal citizens. One possibility might be to embed the rights set out in the European Convention on Human Rights into the new British Citizenship Act. The protections currently set out in the Human Rights Act could be replaced and enhanced. Some rights expressed in the new legislation could be applicable to all people within the jurisdiction and some specifically to British citizens. Done right. This would protect the rights of all and enhance the rights of British citizens.